pandemic free for all while many Americans wait for their COVID vaccine patiently. White House is ready to give away shots to illegal migrants. Listen. Well, certainly the more people who are vaccinated, uh, whether they're undocumented or not, uh, the safer we are as a country. And that's certainly the president's point of view. And it's not just the border as homeless residents in Seattle are being put in FEMA funded hotels and being given COVID shots as well while you wait. Our next guest just returned from Seattle on Monday where he saw the city's problems firsthand. Here with reaction, Fox News analyst Lawrence Jones. Lawrence, good morning to you. Hey, happy Good Friday, Steve. Thank you, you as well. Uh, so Lawrence, it makes perfect sense. If the White House is gonna let uh, migrants come on in because there's an open door, why not give them a shot before Americans? Yeah, it's kind of disgusting when you look at it. Look, we want to be charitable. We want to be a given nation. Uh, we want to help those that are less fortunate. But when you have people in your own country that have not gotten the shot, when there's such a surge, when there's so many lines to get the shot, I think it's a slap in the face of those American citizens that have been patiently waiting for the vaccine. Uh, you know, I, I think we got to get to the root causes of this. Yesterday when yeah. I was co-hosting The Five, I think I, I said that we have to have two weeks to slow the surge. Um, there, there is a problem at the border, a problem of Biden's own making because he had incentives there. And that's only going to cause us to have to continue to pass out this free stuff because, as you know, even if you let these people in, they can't work unless they steal somebody's social security number. Well, and uh, earlier I was telling uh, folks that uh, New York State lawmakers are going to, in, in a $2 billion fund, give unemployment insurance to illegal aliens. So, you know, you just come on into the country and New York State will pay you up to $28 thousand dollars which it's like okay and, and they wonder why their debt is out of control right here in new right. york and why the taxes continue to raise and, and steve i think the thing that that americans feel is you're doing this in the middle of a pandemic right. i mean businesses are shutting down in new york and now you're handing out goodies to legal i mean mm -hmm. it's just absurd to me right but also lawrence that's another reason why if you're you know you're in a place and you're looking to look i, I live in this terrible country i'm you know there's grinding poverty i'm going to go to the united states i will get a shot and i'm going to get twenty eight thousand dollars from new york state plus whatever else i can get you know it would not surprise me lawrence if there has been a given the fact that we now know that the detention centers are super spreader events mm -hmm. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if there was a plan in the White House or the administration to, once they let the migrants in, before they say, okay, go wherever you want to go, call your aunt or whoever's phone number you've got, is we're going to give you the J&J &J shot before you go, just so you don't have to worry about it. But once again, aside from, and this is speculation, but they would once again jump the line ahead of so many Americans who have been waiting patiently, legally, here in the country. Well, I think the Biden administration is going to have to get their messaging right. Uh, moderate Joe is going to have to pick what side is he on. Look, again, the, the, the one, as charitable as America, Americans are, when you start putting other people before them, then they get a little upset about that, and rightfully so. Again, like I said at the beginning of the segment, there are Americans still waiting for the shot. Apparently, there is a line, and there's different yeah. groups that can go. When you start putting other groups before, then there becomes a problem. It's the same problem in San Francisco with the education. People are not opposed to the migrants getting in-person education because they didn't do anything wrong. It was the parents that sent them on this treacherous journey. But the fact that they're kids can't get in-person learning is why people are furious and of course we want as many people in the country to get the shot as possible it's just a question of priorities Lawrence thank you very much for joining us live thanks brother